Hello everyone, welcome to Zoho Sheets webinar. This is Jaya Shankari, the product marketer for Zoho Sheet, and I'll be the host for today's session. So in this webinar, we'll be talking about mobile application of Zoho Sheet with a major look into a feature called Data from Picture that helps you convert a hard copy of data into shareable online spreadsheets in a matter of seconds. So let's get started. So in this session, first we'll start with a brief introduction about Zoho Sheet, the product itself, and then I'll give an introduction to Zoho Sheet's mobile applications, followed by a brief introduction into what the data from picture features about. And finally, we'll jump into the demonstration where I'll be showing you how this feature and the whole mobile application of Zoho Sheet itself works. So why Zoho Sheet? For those of you who are not familiar with Zoho Sheet, it is an online spreadsheet application that provides you a perfect blend of analytical features such as functions, charts, pivot tables, etc. and collaboration features such as sharing, real-time collaboration, commenting, etc. And all these basic and advanced features are provided for free of cost without any restrictions or limitations. In Zoho Sheet, all your files will be saved on the cloud. That means you can work using any device from anywhere without having to stick to one particular hardware device. And as I had previously mentioned, Zoho Sheet is available on the web as well as for iOS and Android applications, that is smartphones and tablets. Zoho Sheet's mobile applications give you the ability to work on the go. Not just that, Zoho Sheet's mobile applications have been designed in such a way that they are easy to work with using your smartphones and tablets. Zoho Sheet also supports OS specific features on your smartphone and tablet, such as widgets, shortcuts, etc. So what is data from picture? Data from picture is a new feature that we have added to Zoho Sheet's mobile applications. This feature helps you convert physical or printed copies of data into online shareable spreadsheets. The conventional method of transferring data from physical hard copies into spreadsheets is manual data entry. There are some problems with manual data entry, such as manpower, the amount of time spent, and errors that can occur during manual data entry. So this feature helps you avoid these problems and bring in an automation that helps you transfer data from hard copies into spreadsheets in a matter of seconds. All you have to do is scan, convert, preview, and insert the data. This feature is available both on smartphones and tablets, and this feature currently supports only English characters, while we will look into other characters too. So now let's jump into the demonstration where I'll be showing you how this feature works. I'll be using an Android device for this demonstration, but please note that Zoho Sheet is available for iOS devices too, and the interface and experience are almost similar. So let's get started. So this is Zoho Sheets page on the Play Store where you can install the app for free. Now I've already installed the app, so I'm just going to open it from here. So this is the file listing page of Zoho Sheet where you can view all your Zoho Sheet files. And these files are sorted in such a way that the recent files are uh, placed on top so it's easy to navigate for you. So this feature, data from picture, is also available on this screen in Android devices. That is, you can see a plus icon here at the right bottom of the screen. So when you click on that, it gives you two options. One is to create a new blank spreadsheet, while another has an option called data from picture. So this option helps you digitize the printed data and insert it into a new blank spreadsheet directly. So I'm just going to click on this option. So this feature gives you two options, either to select a picture from your device's gallery or to take a picture using the camera. So now I'm just going to take a picture using the camera and we'll see how we can convert it into a spreadsheet. So for that, I'm going to switch to the camera. So now you can see that I have a piece of paper with a tabular data. So I'm just going to snap a picture of this. So while taking a picture, make sure that the angle is not too bad, so the clarity doesn't get affected. So once you've taken the image, you can see that this screen gives you the option to crop the image so you can exclude the unwanted uh, sections in the taken picture. So I'm just going to drag 
and position the crop and at the bottom you can see that there are options to reset the crop to rotate the images be it uh, suppose you have an image in a landscape mode and you want it in a portrait mode you can rotate the image and crop accordingly so once you're done editing and uh, cropping the image you can click on get text here and yes so once I click on get text, you can see that printed image has been instantly converted into digitized data here at the bottom. So this is a preview where you can uh, view the data that has been converted. And if you have any minor changes to be done, you can do that too. So let's see. Here you can see that uh, the total sales value here has been placed in the cell on the right, I mean on the left, and I want it on the right. So I'm just going to delete unit here and now i'm going to select these two cells so once i select these two cells you can see that some options appear on the bottom now what i want to do is i want to concatenate these two terms that is total and sales into the same cell on the right so i can use this option here at the bottom called join right so once i click on that you can see that these two terms have been concatenated and placed on the right cell so this helps you edit and modify data as per your choice and make minor changes if any. Please note that the uh, quality and uh, accuracy of this feature data from picture depends heavily on the uh, quality of image that is provided for uh, converting. So while making changes, you can also notice that, that as I select a value here on the uh, grid, the same value in the image is being highlighted for my reference. So I'll know which value and where exactly I'm editing in the image too. And you can also notice that the currency values have also been uh, identified correctly so that you need not uh, format it separately inside the spreadsheet. So now that I'm done doing my minor changes here in this preview, I'm just going to create a new spreadsheet from here. So you can, uh, you can find the option to create a new spreadsheet here on top, right? So I'm just going to click that. And there we go. So now I have a new spreadsheet which contains the inserted data from the printed copy. So now that we've converted the data from a hard copy to a spreadsheet, let's transform this raw data into an actual data table and a report. So for that, I'm going to perform some basic formatting, followed by a formula, and then we'll insert a chart too. The header of a data table always must be highlighted so you'll know what the values actually represent. So for that, I'm going to select the header row here. And this icon here on top will open up the menu options for you, where you can find the formatting options for your data. So now I'm just going to apply bold center align them and let's give them a fill color let's say from this wide range of palette you can choose a predefined color or you can even customize your own color so i'm just going to select blue here so i've highlighted my header that is done in the price per unit and total sales column the values have already been identified as currency values but i do not want those decimal values here so i'm just going to remove those decimal values for that, I'm just going to select this range. I'll go to number format here. And you can see that there are options using which you can reduce or increase the decimal places. So now I'm going to reduce the decimal places. So that is one and two. So now my data looks much better and our basic formatting is done. So now that I have the whole data, let's insert a formula to find the complete sales value. So for that, I'm going to type in total sales. So once you're done typing here, you can find that there's an arrow icon here on the right. So this icon works like the tab key on your uh, desktop or laptops. So this helps you jump to the cell on the right when you're entering data records. So once I click on that, it jumps to the next cell on the right where I can start inserting my formula. You can see that the equal sign is provided here for easy access and uh, entering. So now I'll start typing in my formula. 
that is I'm going to insert sum here. So as I start typing my function, you can see that the functions are being contextually suggested for me so I can pick the function I'm actually looking for. So you can find sum here at the bottom. So I'm just going to select that. And once I select the function, it gives me the actual syntax of that function. So I'll know what exactly I'm supposed to enter in that particular parameter. So now for this function, I'm going to select this range here. So you can see that as I start selecting, the range is being highlighted with a different color so that I'll, uh, I'll know that this range is being used for the formula. So now I've selected the range that I want for the formula. So now that it's done, I'll click on enter. So there we go. So we have found the total sales value from this whole data. So you can see that how Zoho Sheet contextually help, helps you in entering data and also inserting functions. So now that we have got a result using a formula, let's visualize this data using a chart. So now this data represents the sales value for uh, the various products. So if I start manually drawing charts, that's going to take me a lot of time. So now we have another option called Zia. So some of you must be already familiar with the term Zia because uh, Zia has been a part of Zoho for some time now. Zia is nothing but an artificial intelligence that is already a part of various Zoho products. And in Zoho Sheet, Zia helps you by giving you the complete summary of your data along with recommended charts, pivot tables and insights. So now let's see how Zia can help us with this data. So for that, I'm going to click on this menu here on top right. You can see the three dots here. So I'll click on that. And you can see the option called Insights by Zia here. So once you click on Insights by Zia, that will open up a screen with all the recommended charts, pivot tables and insights. So apart from this summary, Zia also gives you the option to ask questions about your data and get answers. And on Zoho Sheets mobile applications, you can even ask your questions out loud and get answers using voice query. So now let's insert this chart that shows me the sum of total sales per product. So you can see that this chart is being aggregated, so you won't find any repetitive values on the axis. So I'm going to insert this chart into my sheet now. And there we go. So we started from a printed copy of data and now we have an actual report in a spreadsheet. So now that the report is almost ready, you might want to share it with a colleague or a teammate for a second view or a review. So for that, let's see how we can share this spreadsheet with a colleague for collaboration. So for that, I'm going to click on this option here and you can see the option called add people. So click on that. And in this screen, you can start typing in your colleague's email ID. So you can see that as I start typing in the email ID of my colleague, contextual suggestions are being listed for me. So I can select the desired contact. So this is the contact I'm looking for. So I'm just going to select it. And below that, you can find options to set permissions while sharing. So let's say you want your colleague to only view your file and not make any changes. You can give them read-only permission. If you want them to also edit and make changes to your file, you can give them read and write permission. And if you're okay with them sharing the file to others, you can give them co-owner permission. So now I just want Carla to view my file and not make any changes. So I'm going to give her read-only permission. There's also an option here to notify your colleagues through email as to why you're sharing this uh, file with them. So you can even enter a message here so they'll know what exactly they're supposed to do in, with this file. So now I'm just going to share it with Carla. And there we go. So that's all about Zoho Sheets mobile applications for now. We will look into other features deeply in further upcoming sessions. In case you have any questions or feedback, you can drop us an email at this displayed support ID anytime and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you have any feedback about this webinar or feature, you can even drop them as comments below. Thank you for watching this webinar. See you in the next one. Thank you.